Y'all, I just got home. Look what package came in the mail. I can't flip the other side because my address. But yeah, oh my god, look at this. It's from Infamous Shop. Um, from Crimson. Uh, like my nails are red, like her favorite color. Anyways, um, look at how cute the packaging is. Okay, let's open it. Uh, I don't want to ruin the packaging. <laughs> Okay, so this is for my cousin, Amanda. This is mine. Look at the oil boy patch. He's so cute. And then here's some stickers. What the heck? Why'd you send me this? You didn't have to. <sighs> okay, anyways. My next package from her is going to have the Animal Crossing set, even though I told Crimson not to. But yeah, okay, you guys should just buy her stuff because look how cute everything is. Like, hello, look at the packaging. But yeah, I was really happy to finally get this in the mail because I've been harassing my mailman asking where my package at. But yeah, okay. Bye Crimson, you'll see this in my vlog. I'm gonna send this to you first over Instagram before it's on the November vlog, which will be posted at the end of this month. Yeah. What's up YouTube? <clears throat> if you can hear my voice, you can tell that I am like dead from decon, but I have to show you guys my haul. So let's jump right into that. So the first purchase of the night for me was day one and um, was this Double Man Nigora. Um, I have it signed by Konosua, the artist who makes these. And this is like, I had a list of things I wanted from Decon and this was like on there because if you know me, you know I'm really into like the double man stuff. So yeah, this was the first thing that I got and it was around $150 but I paid with cards, so tax, $160. So yeah. Next up is this. I can't pronounce the name and I don't want to butcher the name, but if you go to my chicken bags Instagram, I have all these stuff like posted and tagged by the artists, so if you wanted to get it yourself too, unless it was a decon exclusive, then I'm sorry, you can't get it. But the artist signed it and oh my god, her lines are so clean and this is like so cute. Like this is the decon exclusive color white. Also, um, the devil man was also a decon exclusive. I also got this little dinosaur. Um, again, I don't want to butcher the name, um, but the artist, he makes like dinosaur in different colorways. This is the Decon exclusive with his collaboration with another artist. Um, I actually got this for $15 off because there's this tiny little smudge scratch right there, but like it's not really that noticeable to me, so I'm okay with how it is because it's not like I'm selling these figures anyway. And then I got Thorachan. Um, this is from Giant Robot. If you guys didn't know Giant Robot's actually been a really big part of my childhood. Uh, my mom's been taking me there since I was in sixth grade. I used to take me, me, tell her to take me to LA just to go to Giant Robot and I would buy like really unique toys and wallets and like little artsy knickknacks and stuff as a kid. So now that I'm like 24, like 
seeing the giant robot booth and seeing Ericsson um, there was like really nice. And like, yeah, so giant robot's been around since 2001. So it's been a long time, but yeah, I'm really happy. I, I wanted the let's get cheap sushi one specifically because Sorry, my throat hurts because I don't know, I'm, I'm dying from decon. But yeah, anyways, each packaging he did is a different packaging on each one. So my brother got a Cemetery Torachan. I got the Let's Get Cheap Sushi because it's funny because I like expensive sushi. Here are some stickers I got. I think the artist for this is that name right there. And yeah, um, it was like buy seven for $10. And then so I told my friends to pick some stickers too. And then the artist also gave me this one for free. And I really like the blue eyes the most. Like, honestly, that's my favorite because I love blue eyes because y'all know I love Kaiba. I got these stickers from the Q-Pop mini booth. Um, I thought it was really funny because, you know, you have hurt me. I'm really sorry, but I don't know who the artist for this is. My brother actually gave me this from his haul of stuff he got from DesignerCon. So yeah, um, if I find out, I'll probably put it in the link or post it on my chicken bags uh, Instagram story. So Olivia um, on YouTube, you guys probably know her channel. Um, she told me to go to her friend's booth and he had uh, Hone 69's uh, stickers and oh my god, these are like so my style. Like I love these stickers so much, especially this one. It's actually, I put this on the back of my phone on a clear case so I can like preserve it. But oh my god, like seriously, I love these stickers so much. Like the art style is like, like my favorite type of artist style. So yeah, I'm really happy to own these and I literally want to just save these stickers. So I'm definitely never peeling them off and I'm just gonna like, we keep them in like a sticker album or something. You might be wondering why I got wrapping paper. <laughs> so it looks just like regular wrapping paper, right? But if you look closely, it says fuck you on it. And I thought that was really funny because, you know, me and my, my really close friends, we jokingly like will cuss at each other and stuff. So this is a good wrapping paper for Christmas. I got this Godzilla pin because he's literally playing with kaijus because he is a kaiju and it's just like so cute and me and my best friend have it matching. Oh, because that little dinosaur I got, the ice cream colorway one, was $15 off and they felt bad. They gave me this washi tape too and it was so cute and they really didn't have to. I literally told them you don't have to, but they gave it to me anyway. I'm gonna show you guys some free stuff I got. They're like stickers and like postcards and stuff. Like, this is a big sticker. I got this bag from Just Peachy, aka Jasmine Blue's brand. Um, it's like a really cute small bag. It, you can extend it and make it like longer. And then these pins I got from Sharon Dacto, Cheryl Dacto. And um, I've been following her like forever. So I have like all her old merch too. But I specifically really wanted the Cupid mail because if you guys like are my close friends, you'll know I eat almost everything with Cupid Mayo and I go through bottles like really fast. So the artist for my Nagora did Shikishi artboard art like when she was sitting around and so these are one of one like nobody else gonna have this so I had to get it because she's one of my favorite artists and so this is a hundred dollars <laughs> and I also in my shelf I have the devil man like holding it so you know it's on display and it's like super nice and like I really like it my brother also bought a like snow one and you'll probably see it on the Q-pop uh, Instagram but yeah me and my brother like had to get that like as soon as it dropped okay let's get ready for one of my biggest purchases This is the Andy Warhol one of 300 bear bricks, 1000%. Um, if you know me, you know I have BTS bear bricks and like random anime bear bricks, but I saw this one and I just had to have it. 
Um, it's a Decon exclusive and like, just look at it. It's huge. Like this is my hand and this is holding its hand. I have to show you in compared to my BTS one. So my BTS bare brick is a 400%. So as you can see the size difference, this is a 400%. This is a, um, 1000% and a 100% is this big. Um, which I can also show you guys really quick. So this is a 100%. 400%, 100%, 1000%. So yeah, I had to get this. This is one of my biggest purchases. Um, if you're a bear brick collector or if you're into bear bricks, you'll know this was $600. <laughs> and yeah, <laughs> but it's in the corner of my room right now. And because owning this is so like, I feel like I have a piece of art. I want more. <laughs> so my goal now is to save money and get more giant bear bricks and hopefully one day have a man cave like Ben Baller. So, at Soya Milk's booth, she has, um, like, what is it, like a gambling thing, I guess you would call it, like those little coin machines, right? So, the first coin machine, I got these, which of course I wanted because I wanted stickers from her, because oh my god, like, look at this, it's so cute. The second one I got was this, which means I get a free print. And that's what I got, this free print. Oh my God, it is so beautiful. Like seriously, like look at it. And like the detail on it is so mad crazy. And here is her signature. Okay, now it is time for the grand finale of one of my favorite and most expensive purchases of Decon. It is. Lauren size figure. Oh my god. Look, it's signed by Lauren, which you guys will see in the vlog in the next clips of my decon clips because I'll be after this haul um, of me talking to Lauren. But yeah, look at this. Like, just this alone is already art. Like, it is so like nice, but you have to see the figure. Pictures literally do not do this justice at all. Like, it is so detailed. Look at the shading, if you can, if it picks up on the camera at all. But it is so detailed. And, like, it's literally one of my favorite, like, figures right now in my collection. And, yeah, like, so nice. And I actually asked Lauren to sign the butt because everyone else got it signed on the stomach, but... I don't know why I wanted it to like, I want her signature to show because this is like her art. So I got her to sign it on the butt and this tail is actually not attached to this. It came, it's like separate inside the box, but you can't even tell. You would think it's just like one whole piece if I didn't take it out, but yeah. This is like my favorite purchase of Decon and I'm so happy to have it. It was like one of the top things on my list to get this year when I saw that she was dropping it at Decon. If you get the chance to get this, you definitely should. It's totally worth it. It's $595, but the detail literally lives up to its price, like honestly. So yeah, that's my decon haul. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the haul. And so enjoy the next clips, which is, you know, talking to Lauren and a little bit of around decon and Metacom booth. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching the haul. See you in the next clips. Yeah.
Okay, so this is the part where I got to go meet uh, Lauren at DesignerCon. Uh, my brother is actually filming this for me, this part, clearly, because I'm obviously not filming. So yeah, you'll see me tell Lauren that my brother's filming over here. So yeah, since this whole part's fast forward, because I didn't want to bore you guys, because you can't hear anything that we're talking about, but pretty much we talked about K-pop, uh, my YouTube channel, her congratulating me on 12K, waving to my brother that was filming, and how her sister has the same chicken bag as me, and also how um, me and my brother came last year, and she was super friendly and thankful and for um, us supporting her since last year. And like, seriously, if you ever get a chance to meet Lauren Tsai, you should seriously try to meet her because she's super friendly and nice and also her art is like amazing so yeah bye bye I got it on the butt <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> okay now we have to help you put the